4 a.m. <laughs> you please a old ass mess but we'll make it work i give myself one hour 30 minutes a few moments later update <laughs> this is 7 30 and i'm still packing who was i deceiving i've been awake since three how did i think i was going to finish packing in one hour one hour 30 minutes but this is 7 30 and i feel like by 8 8 30 i might still be packing god i beg and my parents will be here in a few hours so i have to hurry man they must not know that i'm just packing <laughs> i'm gonna say hi to youtube <laughs> finally done packing it's finally time to go this is six six o'clock on the dot six six and we are still at home and checking is 7 30 and the traffic is crazy <laughs> don't ask me why we are still at home by this time bro. it's not my it's not my doing anyway airport fit check Udi. this Udi is so comfy i love it so much and my chakras my black nikes this green cute as detail Matching my black Nikes with my tank top, my silver Zara bag. I have my shades here and no makeup, just the lip gloss. I'm oh, so late. But I'll see you guys at the airport. Just pray for me. Pray we don't miss this flight. You know you made at the airport on time thank god so we looked for a good parking space close to the arrival gate packed the cars and offloaded our luggage we weighed our luggage before checking to avoid being charged for extra luggage but it was okay because we were flying business class so we were allowed some extra luggage Guys, look at the crowd. It's the crowd at the airport for me. It was finally time to board, guys. And guess who we saw? Peter of Peace Square. Can you see him? And we also spotted Kiki. It was so exciting to see the both of them, and I couldn't help myself but record. The worst part of checking for me is when you have to remove all your shoes, remove your socks, remove everything. <laughs> oh my god, I ate it so much. So this was me waiting for my husband to get the shoes back on. We still had time to kill before our flight, or so we thought, so we decided to check out the British Airways lounge. And yeah, it looked really good. It was kind of dark, but it was really cozy. We ordered some food and they served us sandwich, Coca-Cola, and some fruits. But before we could even finish our food, we could hear that it was time to board our flight. So we picked up our luggage and proceeded to the boarding gates. Nigeria to Canada is a 16 hour flight and since we used the British Airways, our layover was going to be in London. So this was our first flight. So I settled in and got comfortable. I was searching for movies to watch. I didn't see anything that I liked. So I just settled for watching The Office again. It was obviously night time so it was time to have dinner they gave us our menu prior to this and i ordered what i wanted for the drink i went with the johnny cocktail which was orange and ginger i ate it so i told them to change my order to bailey's on the rocks and they did that and brought it along with my starter which was beef pastrami
for the main course i went with fried plantain green beans and jollof fries but guys let me tell you the jollof fries wasn't jollof fries in at all for dessert i was given fruit and cheesecake which wasn't bad at all and then in the morning right before we landed we were offered snacks and fresh juice which was really nice to wake up to so yeah it was bright and it was almost time for us to land in london Touchdown London! Touchdown London! Okay, so we got connect our connected flights from here. Yeah, good morning. Our layover was seven hours, so we had to find the lounge so we could relax and eat before our next flight. But the London Nitro is massive, so it was very hard to find the lounge. Finally, we found it and we settled in. Finally found it. Hey guys, so we finally found the lounge after so much work and I'm tired. We're in the lounge now. So our flight is still not in like five hours. Our connecting flight to um, Toronto is still not in like five hours. So we're going to be here for a while. I'm just happy we have somewhere to like at least chill and just relax and eat. Because I'm mean, exhausted. I don't know if I can find bed safe or because I'm tired. I slept on the flight but it was it was quite a short sleep. I don't think I slept for two four hours, despite not sleeping at all last night or last two nights. <laughs> I just want to relax, I want to order food and just, just enjoy myself at least to the next flight. It was an all-you-can-eat and all-you-can-drink buffet, so we took advantage of that. And before we knew it, it was time for our next flight, so we got moving. It's time to check in for our second flight. So we're going to catch the flight to Toronto, finally. Finally. I'm tired. I got some sleep, but not enough. It was time to check in. Probably get some sleep on the plane. On the second flight, we were welcomed with juice and we were given this complimentary toiletry bag which basically contained things like hand lotion, um, face masks for sleeping, socks and some other things. And then I just settled in because I was really tired, I just wanted to sleep. I was watching Friends but I just really wanted to sleep. This is the control where we control everything on the TV. But yeah, like I said, I was tired, so I checked on my partner so that he was already sleeping, and then I proceeded to sleep. And then a few minutes later, I was woken up with breakfast, which looked really, really good, and I really enjoyed it. At this point, I was watching Sex and the City and just enjoying myself. <laughs> then they proceeded to serve us dessert, which was like this chocolate cake, and I paired that with tea, and yeah. I just relaxed, had breakfast, dessert. After eating, I watched a bit of Paris Hilton's documentary and then I slept back and I was awoken by the voice of the pilot on the boat. Juliana Rogers here, and our crew will be on hand to assist you. On behalf of us all on board and British Airways, I'd like to thank you for choosing to fly with us today. It's certainly been a pleasure having you on board. I would like to wish you all a very safe and pleasant Touchdown summer journey. Once again, thank you and a very good afternoon to you all. Okay. 
we had a lot of luggage so we had to plop them up on these trolleys to be able to get outside the airport and then we went outside and we met with our pickup suv and yeah it was time to head to our airbnb Touchdown Canada. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Yeah, my right. On our way to our place. I'll see you guys in a Hi guys, we finally arrived at our accommodation i'm so tired why well, yeah sure. so i just want to like shower i brushed my teeth i just want to shower and sleep and probably just like do a tour of the outside and the environment and just probably get something to eat and then just sleep maybe when i've refreshed and i feel better i'll just do a little tour like a little house tour for you guys probably in the next video but yeah we're here i'm so excited i'm so happy finally in canada like it was a long journey like you guys saw it was a freaking long journey but we thank god we landed safely everything is fine everything went seamlessly like i'm just so happy so it's time to relax and i'll see you guys in my next video Make sure you subscribe if you haven't and turn on post notifications so that you see my next video when it drops. Hmm? It's probably going to be a house store. If it's not a house store, it's going to be like how I was able to like come to Canada, like the ups and downs, like all the things that helped me to be able to like get my visa and all that. So make sure you stay tuned. See you guys. Bye.